You see, sometimes people tend to ask the question that, well, somebody must have created God also. How can there be a person, you know, who is the creator? You know, somebody must have created that one who has created him. He is the creator. That is the definition of creator. Means one who creates everything else. That is a creator. There's no one who has to make a creator. You're either a creator or you're not. You know, so similarly here, Krishna is saying that prior to the cosmic manifestation, only I exist. Krishna is declaring this, that please don't have any doubts. There's no doubts that I am the original creator. I am the original one, ekoham dvitiyo nasti. There's nobody like me. No doubt about it. It's only I who exist. And there's no other phenomena who exists. Either gross, subtle, or primordial. No other manifestations are there. And after creation also, I continue to exist. So it's not that when Krishna is doing the creation, when Mahavishnu exhales, you know, and the creation, you know, is manifest at that time, everyone comes out. It's not that Mahavishnu also comes out and there's no one as Mahavishnu. That position is empty. No, Mahavishnu stays there. Just like when we are exhaling, we know that we are exhaling, you know, so many bacteria. you know, of course, nowadays so much viruses we are talking about. Be safe, you know, of course. Um, but yeah, we are, Krishna Chaitanya, we are exhaling. But that doesn't make us, you know, when we exhale, it's not that we are also going out into that exhalation. We are continuing to stay. And then when we are inhaling, we are inhaling so many living entities into us who we are not able to see with our naked eye. But definitely living entities are going in, inside through our nostrils, through our mouth, whenever we are inhaling. And when we exhale, so many living entities come out who are not visible to our plain eye. But if we see, you know, a microscope, if we have microscopic vision, we can see so many living entities roaming around. And every time we exhale and inhale, so many people are going in and out of our bodies. We'll be shocked. But that doesn't mean that our individuality is gone. People are entering. I'm saying people, living entities are entering our own bodies. And living entities are exhaling from our own bodies. But we are still continuing to stay. So similarly, it's the same for, you know, principle applied to Krishna. When Mahavishnu is exhaling, when Mahavishnu is inhaling, he is staying as he is. This is a clear, you know, um, a defeat of philosophy for the impersonalists who say that the Lord doesn't have a personality, that when he is exhaling, there is no one. It's light. How can there be light? Can light breathe and, you know, inhale and inhale, in, in exhale? No, not possible. It has to be a person. So here, that's why Krishna is saying that after creation, only I exist in everything and after annihilation also, I remain eternally. So Krishna is saying, I am there eternally. It's not that I manifest and unmanifest along with the creation and annihilation. It doesn't happen like that. I am there all the time. I exist all the time. I mean, how much more verbal can a person be to say that I exist? Krishna is saying, look, don't call me to be an impersonal. I have an impersonal aspect, but I have this personal aspect, which is the source of the impersonal aspect. Please understand that. Krishna is shouting on the top of his lungs. He's giving us so much analogy that, look, I exist. I exist. Don't make me, you know, a non-existent, existential person. Don't make me, you know, like that. 